Hi Scorpio, it's Ellie. Welcome to my channel and we're doing your reading. So let's begin. I've already cleansed the space and meditated on your cards. This reading is good for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If this reading resonates for you, please give this video a thumbs up. And I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. I want to say thank you to... Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. I'm very grateful to each and every one of you. And as a way of saying thank you, I will be giving away one free reading at the end of the month to one subscriber. All right. So if you're interested in joining, um, stay tuned to the end of this video and I will be announcing the mechanics on how to join that uh, draw. So I hope you win. All right. I hope you win. There's no topic in this video. Just so um, we'll just let spirit uh, tell you what you need to know or the messages that are really coming towards you. So there's no topic. We're letting go of that. We're trying to let go of that at least. All right. Wow. All right, this is actually a very beautiful reading. Scorpio, I love it. I love it a lot. Okay. So, your overall energy for this reading is the moon card. So, I'm getting there are a lot of fears, a lot of things that you've gone through, a lot of shadow work, a lot of... Um, things that you've gone through that you've never showed anyone i'm getting you're putting on a very strong um a very strong appearance a very strong how can i say that a very strong front you're not letting anyone know that you're hurting inside or you were hurting for those who have already moved on, you didn't know, you didn't let anyone know that you were hurting inside or just only a few people knew what you were going through. All right? There's a lot of fears. There's a lot of doubts that creep in every now and then. You have the Nine of Swords to the King of Wands. I'm getting you were having a lot of sleepless nights. Um, in the last nine days. A lot of sleepless nights in the last nine days. Um, you were thinking about someone, someone on your mind who was a king of wands i'm getting the king of wands here as a very much reversed energy so when you get the king of wands in the reversed energy it means this person that you dealt with was someone who was disloyal someone who was very in and out of your life someone who was all pa was about all passion maybe very sensual towards you expressed a lot of sensuality passion but very much a player that's that's the energy you get when you get a king of wands in the reverse and that is the energy that i'm getting right now although it's in the upright the energy here is very much in the reversed energy so you were having a lot of sleepless nights um sometimes when we when we are very sure we're very sure that we've healed from a situation in the past. And then this person suddenly pops out of nowhere in our minds. There's a very good chance that that person is really thinking hard about you. Especially when you both have a very deep soul connection together. Either you were dealing with a karmic, either you were dealing with a soulmate or a twin flame. When the connection is very strong, you would feel what they feel. So if they are thinking heavily about you, even when you never thought about them for the last few months, 
it happens you get to think about them and now you're having sleepless nights thinking about this person you don't know you're trying to figure out but i'm getting you've gotten over this person you really have but for some reason you don't know why you keep on thinking about them you're having sleepless nights about them all right you have the two of cups to the page of wands so someone very new coming towards you someone um of course when you get a page it's someone new pages bring news pages bring new someone very exciting someone very playful probably someone a little bit younger than you or young at heart or kind of plays a little bit immature all right um you feel that this person is someone non-committal but the thing there is you have to understand you have to understand this is someone new how can they it's a very li there's very little chance that when someone's new in your life they can't really figure out then and there if they want to be serious with you if they want to commit fully to you so this is someone who just wants to date you just feel things around whether or not it's gonna work out between the two of you but you know what the thing here is there is a potential of soulmate connection between the two of you the two of cups is partnership the two of cups is equal uh, equality equal give and take the two of cups is soulmate energy all right if this person realizes that there is potential here this person will get serious this person will get serious all right um you have the seven no not seven the four of wands to the ten of cups as i said there is a potential of higher form of commitment uh with this page of wands okay in the long run there is actually a potential of a higher form of commitment you could be marrying this new person coming towards you you could be a fire sign could be a fire sign all right uh, there's a lot of wands here so it could be a fire sign or it could be a cancer or any any water sign all right but there is commitment coming towards you this person is very new this is not your ex this is not your ex um this is also my 11 11 card so make your wish but this is my halfway to marriage card and plus you have the ten of cups long-term commitment something that you will build having a family with you would plan having a family with something that's emotionally fulfilling something that's emotionally exciting all right a lot of love a lot of love okay so listen to your intuition i'm getting although you don't have the high priestess card here but you have the moon there's a lot of intuition here i'm getting a feeling that you would know when this person comes in you would know you're going to look for the signs or you're going to ask a sign from the universe What I'm getting here is you still have a very strong karmic pull with your person. And as your overall outcome, as I said, as your overall outcome, okay. As I said you earlier, you could have you could have healed, you could have already healed from this situation. But I think spirit is indicating here that you haven't fully healed you haven't fully healed so for you to disconnect that uh that connection between the two of you you and your ex there's really full healing that needs to be involved here all right um the overall energy is the hanged man the seven of cups and then the um the four of swords so you could be reflecting at this time you could be trying to realize why are you feeling this way there's a lot of confusion you know you don't love this person anymore you know you've gotten over this person but you still keep thinking about them why you're still having sleepless night for some reason the last nine days you've 
been having a lot of sleepless nights because of this person so there's very there i'm getting there's a very small part of you that needs to be healed needs to be healed all right there is some sort of confusion here that you have to address i'm not sure what it is you know your situation more than i do but you have to pinpoint that in order to address it that's the only way to really solve a problem is to pinpoint the problem and that's the only way you can move forward and how to solve it what is the advice for my scorpio let me know in the comment section down below if this is something that you like like uh, we let go of a few topics for, uh, for the for the week and you know just let's see what spirit is trying to tell you okay the advice for you the advice for you scorpio is the emperor the two of wands and then the ace of swords It's very direct and simple advice from Spirit. Spirit is telling you to decide now. Take control of your life. Take control of your life. Decide to finally move away fully from that person, from that karmic connection, and take that sword. Cut that person out of your life. Cut that person out of your life. Um, you know what I'm getting what else i'm getting is that well which is true when we can when we cannot um fully move on or fully heal from the person from the past it really delays the new person or the person that's meant for you to come into your life so you have to really heal from this okay and i'm saying fully you have to heal fully Okay, what are the other messages that Spirit wants to tell you? Okay. You have simplicity. Feathers could be um, some sort of sign for you. You could be seeing a lot of feathers lately. So there's a sign there. Your guides are telling you something. Alright, simplicity. And then you have security security all right you could be wanting the feeling of being secure in a relationship so that's that could be it all right so that is all i have for you scorpio if this reading resonated for you please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below on how it resonated for you if you're interested in winning a personal reading with me all you have to do is number one be subscribed to my channel and number two write in the comment section down below what is meant for me will never pass me by, all right? What is meant for me will never pass me by. It's a way for you to affirm to yourself that what is meant for you will always be for you. It's you assuring to yourself that what is meant for you will always be for you. You don't need to chase it. You don't need to, you know, go out looking for it. You don't need to hold on so dearly to it because what is meant for you will always be for you. It will always gravitate towards you. So that is all I have for you, Scorpio. I love you all. Thank you so much and stay blessed.